Agriculture is a huge part of what Montana is. In fact, it's the number one industry in the state. In 2017, the USDA reported that 64.2% of the land in Montana belonged to farms or ranches. That's almost 60 million acres of land in Montana that's used for agriculture. So odds are, whether you live in Montana or you're just visiting, you're bound to see some farmland. What's up peeps, this is Chicken Man JG here and today we're going to be looking at the top 10 ag commodities produced in Montana. Number 10. You might be surprised to know that Montana is a major producer of oil seeds. These largely consist of flaxseed, safflower, and canola. Montana ranks second for flaxseed and safflower production and ranks third for canola production. My family even grew safflower one year, and it was not fun to change water in that field. Safflower is covered in thorns, nasty thorns that I could feel through my jeans. Ouch. Oil seeds brought Montana $25.8 million in annual cash receipts in 2016. Number 9. Chips, fries, and my favorite, hash browns are all made from potatoes, which is the ninth most produced egg product in Montana. Montana farmers harvested around 11,000 acres of potatoes in 2016. My family has never grown potatoes. You need some fancy farm equipment to dig those taters out. Potatoes first appeared in Montana in 1841. They were grown in the Bitterroot Valley at St. Mary's Mission. Potatoes brought in $41.5 million in annual cash receipts in 2016. Number 8. This one actually surprised me a little bit. Montana is second in the United States for chickpea production. Chickpeas can be used to add fiber and protein and gluten-free baking, and they're also used in some hummus recipes. In 2016, Montana produced 28.1% of the nation's chickpea total. That's around 150 million pounds of chickpeas. Chickpeas brought $46.7 million in annual cash receipts for Montana in 2016. Number 7. The South Central region of Montana, which is where my family's farm is located, is known for producing sugar beets. Montana growers harvested 45,300 acres of sugar beets in 2016, which is over 1.6 million tons. My family has never grown sugar beets because, again, you need fancy farm equipment to do that. However, we had a neighbor who let us pick some out of his field one time. My dad had even put sugar beets into our smoothies one morning, and I couldn't even notice it. Have you ever eaten just a raw sugar beet? It's actually not that bad. Sugar beets brought in $73.8 million in annual cash receipts in 2016. Number 6. Montana is one of the top ranking states for producing dry peas. In 2016, Montanans harvested 580,000 acres of peas as well as 7,000 acres of Austrian winter peas. Dry peas are used to make feed for farm animals. My family has only planted peas two times and what we did grow was either sold to our neighbors or ground up for the pigs to eat. $120.5 million in annual cash receipts was brought in from dry peas in 2016. Number 5. Montana is the number one producer in the nation for lentils. It actually surprised me when I found this out, considering lentils are most commonly, if not completely, used for cooking. Red lentils are used in Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and Indian cuisines. In 2016, the state harvested 505,000 acres of lentils. Lentil production in Montana is primarily confined to the Flathead Valley. Another important thing to note about lentils is that they're widely adapted to most of the dryland crop area in Montana. Lentils resulted in a little over $204 million in annual cash receipts in 2016. Number 4. This is a pretty big one. In 2016, around 1 million acres of barley was planted in Montana with growers averaging 57 bushels per acre with a total whopping value of $270 million. For those of you who don't know what a bushel is, it's a unit of measurement used for dry goods, especially grain. A bushel is equal to 64 pints, or 35.2 liters. My family grows malt barley every year, which is contracted through Baris, which is a malting company. The malt that comes from malt barley is used to make a variety of products from beer to sweeteners. Barley generated almost $220 million in annual cash receipts in 2016. Number 3. Hay is a pretty big deal in Montana. Although the state doesn't rank very high amongst other states in hay production, Montana still produced 3.6 million tons of alfalfa hay in 2016. 
The hay that my family produces the most of is alfalfa hay, followed by alfalfa grass mix and annual forage hay. Alfalfa alone took up 1.8 million acres of Montana farmland in 2016. I'd have to say that I spend a majority of my summer baling hay for my family, a lot of which my dad sells himself. It keeps us pretty busy. The other day I used my drone to count the bales by our house and I counted over 700 round bales. We also use our hay to keep our cows fed in the winter time. Hay is very profitable in Montana, bringing in a little over $330 million in annual cash receipts in 2016. Number 2. Cereal, bread, noodles, and crackers. This list goes on. There is a plethora of foods that use flour made from wheat, which is Montana's second most produced ag commodity. Wheat is grown in nearly every county in Montana. In other words, it's a pretty big deal here. Our state's largest grain producing region is in the north central part of Montana, known as the Triangle Area. My family has grown wheat before, but we haven't grown it for at least three years. Grain has a huge influence on Montana's ag income, bringing in almost $876 million in annual cash receipts in 2016. And number one, the heart and soul of like every ranch in Montana is cattle and calves. There's around 2.6 million head of beef cattle in Montana. That's nearly three cows for every person in Montana. Our family has around 200 head of cattle, mainly consisting of black Angus cows that bear the brands of my dad and my grandpa. I was actually surprised to hear that cattle and calves brought Montana over $1.4 billion in annual cash receipts in 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about what all Montana produces as far as agriculture goes. So guys, what'd you think of my first countdown video? If you liked it, make sure and let me know in the comments below. I'm very much looking forward to your guys' feedback on these kind of videos, and I really want to know what I can do to improve on, or if I don't need to improve on anything. Any kind of advice really helps me out a lot. Or if you just want to give me some good old comments, I really appreciate those. It makes me feel good about myself. If this is my first video you've seen, please be sure to check out the rest. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Chicken Man out!